Come here, Bob. So what do you want to know? So it's a breast DW, right? And yeah, so you've got a 14 inch head, standard, pretty standard snare drum. You got a six and a half deep brass shell. Okay. And Drum Workshop, when they put this drum together, we ordered it with the gold hardware. So you have gold lugs on a brass shell nice. that actually makes the snare drum look like a piece of jewelry. Yeah, it really does. I want to hang it on my neck. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Like this one. Right? Oh, yeah. Exactly. Right. Um, anyway, and then it, it has a three position throw off. So this is what I wanted to talk about. On this side here. Okay. And then over here we have the magnetic full throw off. Oh, it's got magnet. So when you throw There's it up. It's a magnet. It, it, when you throw it up, it'll snap. So off and then. Wow. So you can smack it back oh. up. So we have it in the middle. We, we have this side in the middle. You have your snare right. up. Yep. Let, let's start it from the bottom. Everything off all the way down. Okay, so let's hear this. Let's hear it. So we can, we can hear this. all the overtones everywhere. So there's the drum wide open. It almost howls. It rings. It's like a kill. Right? See, it's metal. Brass, so oh, rad. And the rim shots in the, in the I hear the shot. And then your first snare is going to be in the third position or the lowest, so you're still going to get right. ring, and your snare is loose. Now, if you if you dampen that, you get a really tight crisp, almost like the wallet. The wallet so trick is, here, is what we used to do. Here's the snare, wide open in the low position. You can hear the how the snare just really is almost delayed. Yeah. As much. Okay, now that'll muffle it. Open it up. You. But you, you still get that, so you, you get a crack, yeah. but you don't get the ring in the shell. If you needed ring, you could decide how much muting as well as ring. How, how many dogs were in a way? Right, so here's, here's no muting with a snare. And then you can mute this way. snare is really delayed because of the depth of the drum. Now, if you move it from the third position to the middle position, you're putting more stress on the strainer. So the pitch comes up. So listen to, yeah. I like the control of it. And, and then you can take it to the third position which is the highest one. in the 
center. This isn't low, this is in the bottom, it's closest to us. And then here's the clutch, here I add it. It's like doing this buddy. Which that's not Center. bad with nothing on it. Center? Yeah. But you could even play like There's a second cadence that goes flag. behind it. No, no, you're doing fine because you think we're repeating, and we should be. I should be following, not necessarily leading. Can anyway. I sit down? Uh, this, uh, yeah. I'm gonna play uh, on the uh, on the camera. We're not live or anything. I'm just, I'm just filming because I want to. Uh, I want to get a video of this snare drum on and off. So check that back side of it. And if you want, you can grab the camera and walk around. That'd be cool. Yeah, right, so so uh, I don't need to play. Check so check the back side. Of it. I don't want to make up your disturbed thing. Play with your sticks. Did I buy these? They're weighted pretty cool. <laughs>
you tune the drum to the one in the middle, then if you pull it forward, you can get that slappy or open sound. And if you pull it clear to the front, it's even tighter than the one you tune to. And that's, we're talking about exactly this. This strainer is able to, with that three position right here. unit right there, that little three position, move your hand back so you can actually see it. There you go. Yeah, that's it. That, that three that's flow the right there, right? Right there. One, two, three. And, and, and this drum, this drum by DW has the same here. Here it is in, in a position where you can see it easily. Right. Upside down, but you see you're playing it here or you're playing it to the extreme high. But if you put it in the middle and tune your snare that way, then you have the ability to make it lower or higher at a click. Awesome. And that's uh, Drum Workshop's talent. That's, that's their it. skill sets, man. I love it. I, I love how much dynamics, and, and you can actually change the tone with it, it and just all off that throw. It's gorgeous. It's oh. working. We're going to have some fun with that. Okay. Cool. That's a decent little video. I'll be able to snip some stuff out of that.